Welcome back, you're watching Overdrive. As you saw earlier, Nissan launched its iconic sports car, the 370Z in India this week. But got a chance for a quick first drive before it was unveiled. Take a look. In the automotive world, sports cars, exotics and supercars are mostly European. On the American side, well, they've got the Corvette, but I think that's about it. As for the Japanese, well, if you aren't an automotive enthusiast, what you would know the Japanese are capable of is making cars that are reliable, economical and efficient. You just wouldn't think of them making supercars and sports cars. But the fact is, when they actually get down to building one of those, they are capable of creating absolute masterpieces. Case in point, the new Nissan 370Z. The 370Z is the 6th generation car in a long line of Z cars to come from Nissan. It succeeds the cult 350Z. Incident, a car that was designed by Ajay Panchal, an automotive designer of Indian origin. The 370Z is an evolution and its styling is more expressive and detailed than its predecessor. Nissan says it's meant to look muscular with an organic feel, but honestly, it's not a car that gives me wood. It has some sporty design touches like the boomerang shaped headlamps and the Z logo on the turn indicators. This being a sports coupe, the dimensions are small and by small I mean it can easily claim excise benefits. The 370Z is powered by the same 3.7 litre DOHC V6 petrol engine that was in the 350Z. Now, because this car is an evolution, what you get is a bit more power, 333 PS of it and 363 Nm of max torque. Now the engine is placed at the front, actually a front midship layout with power being delivered to the rear wheels, makes it a lot of fun. But when this car is launched in India, you will also have the option of either a 6-speed manual transmission or a 7-speed automatic. While the manual is the driver's appeal spec to have, the automatic is not too bad either with its Diptronic paddle shift system. Most of the mechanical attributes felt perfect, but a car such as this needs much closer scrutiny which unfortunately is not going to happen on this drive. In this short initial impression of the 370Z, I've sort of figured out just why the world and especially the Europeans are just so fond of this car. And you see, that's because there's a lot of Europeanness injected into it. It doesn't have any of those traditional Japanese values. It's taut, solid and uncompromising. But only a full and detailed road test, which you will shortly see on the Overdrive show and read about in the magazine, will tell you just how good the Nissan 370Z actually is.